Angel's Breath. Um, well fancied for the Supreme, but inexperienced, so I know you're quite keen to get some more of that into him now. I think we have to. It's getting. To, I mean, I think this is the last weekend. I don't even like going to this weekend. I think it's getting dangerously close, but as we were forced out of action last week with everything, um, I've got to give him a run. Little bit of me says that what I'd really like to do is find a little race with a lot of runners and so he can really get in the ruck and learn to race through horses and you know, I, 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 it doesn't matter what it's worth or anything like that, it's just to teach him a little bit more about racing and you know, it, it's going to be rough and tumble as you know in the Supreme, it's flat to the boards and it's rough um, and he could run in the in, in the dove cut, but you know you can easily find five or six good horses in there, and not. And I don't mind the good horses. At least I hope I don't. But um, say, I just want to get that experience of of really being amongst horses. So you might be better in a, in a big field. Of course, if he turns up in a novice hurdle, it's quite possible that he's going to frighten all the other way, the others away, and you'll finish up with five runners again. So. We'll just have to see which race we think is the right one to go for. Downtown Getaway just got up in the dying strides at Ascot um, on his second run this season um, for you. You've got him in um, this weekend. Um, how is he in the lead up to, to, to Saturday? Well, good. The thing that let him down at Ascot was his jumping, and which was disappointing. And so we've, had to, we've done a fair bit of that. He needs another run. He probably needs three miles anyway. Um, unfortunately, he missed. Again, he was forced out of his engagement at Haydock last week, which is where I wanted to go, um, and so there is no three-mile novice hurdle this weekend anywhere. Um, I'd like one for him and Dickie Diver. Um, and, you know, it, it, again, it's this whole thing has just messed everything up, and I don't know where I am with either horse, to be honest with you. I'm just going to have to give them a run over the wrong trip just to get more experience into them again. What's wrong with you has got a couple of entries um, this weekend. Yeah. I know you've got the Grand Daniel as a, as a possibility uh, for him. So where might we see him? Well, he's got two things. He's got to have a third run to get it. You, know, you have to have three runs before you can run in it. And he'll need to go up about three, four pounds anyway. So I need to find the race he'll win. Um, he's in two and a half at Kempton. That would be a nice place to go. But that ground will be too quick for him there. He loves soft ground. If he has to go up north, he will do. The Adonis Hurdle has often served as a, as a triumph trial. You've got some few sore raffles in, engaged in that for Simon Muneer and Isaac Suede. Um, what can you tell us about this one? Um, he's a very likeable horse and he has some form in France. Um, we haven't managed to run him yet, so uh, he's just had unlucky little niggly things that have stopped us, stopped us, stopped us. He's a lovely looking horse. Um, if he's going to go, he might as well start in the Adonis and let's see. Um, he is French, so he might want the ground a bit softer than it's going to be at Kempton. But I mean, it has been very dry again recently, and um, he'll be interesting. I, 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 I think he might just he come on a lot for a run, but if he can, um, you know, there's no reason why he shouldn't run well. Uh, switching our attention to the mares now, um, Epitonte was very impressive uh, at Kempton for you. Um, Lust for Glory as well. She's shown some smart form. Um, where might we see those this weekend? They've all got entries absolutely everywhere. Um, I want to keep Epitonti low um, in that she could run in the dovecote and I would be, we'll probably run something else anyway. But I mean, if that would be a bit silly because to be honest with you, all it would do is get her a five pound penalty. So if you could just, just go and play the low anywhere. Um, experience again, rather like Angel's Breath. You don't don't need to go high, but you you, you can get a penalty for the uh, mayor's novice hurdle at Cheltenham, as it's not a Group One. So the obvious thing is don't go and don't go and <laughs> get a penalty. It's pointless. So she will go somewhere anywhere we like. She's in everywhere. I've had to I've had to just put them in everything, so that we can just move the troops around as we choose. But has Epitonte been showing you enough at home to suggest that you know she could be up to, to winning the Mayor's Novice? Has she sort of shown you that she could be top class? Yes. <laughs>